Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Just My Thoughts. I am the host, Lawrence. Um, today, today I want to discuss something I've been thinking about recently, right? Identity. Now, identity is kind of a popular subject these days, you know. Um, I'm not going to discuss sexual identity or anything like that. Like, personally, I don't really think it's a good idea to define yourself by your sexual orientation. But, hey, they each his own free world, United States, land of the free, do what you want. It's just my opinion. I want to discuss identity as far as how you define yourself as a person, right? Um, so, it's interesting. I've been giving this some thought, right? And at first, it seemed really simple. It seemed really simple. You'd be like, well, of course, everybody knows who they are, right? Because you are you. You are you. So who else can know who you are other than you? And anybody else that does not agree with who you are clearly doesn't know you, right? It seems very binary, very black and white, right? So <laughs> after giving us some more thought, though, I do not think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. I think, I think that that's the majority, but at the same time, there are other, um, other things you have to take into account, right? Because, all right, I'll give you an example. Everybody knows somebody who they might be like, oh, this person is selfish. They wouldn't see themselves as selfish. You probably had a conversation about it. And if I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not selfish, right? Or everybody has done something kind of heinous, right? Some, uh, some, something pretty bad. And you'd be like, man, that's, that's not cool, man. You, you shouldn't do that. That's, that's pretty bad. And they'd be like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I was, I was totally justified in doing that. I was not being a bad person, right? We've all met and known somebody like that. So, there is clearly some uh, conflicting point of views, right? I have a, a, a little diagram I've drawn out. I'll try to show you guys. Let me see, make sure you guys can see this. All right. The words here, ignore that. I was just writing on the paper before uh, I drew this out. So, I am. That is your definition of you, right? That is how you know yourself to be. Okay? Now, I would argue that that is possibly the most important opinion. And the reason I believe that's the most important opinion, that's more the most definitive opinion, is because you are you, right? You you know you know what you're doing to a certain extent and you know what your intent is. There you go. You know what your intent is, right? And you're the one making the decisions, right? So to me, I would say, let's say 75%. That is 75% of your identity, right? That is 75% of you. Now, you might ask, well, why wouldn't that be 100%, right? So we come back to this, and as you can see, this is you here, I am. This, these four corners, those are friends and relatives, right? So you can see 
think of those as sort of mirrors. You know, you can see like the little diamond thing in the mirror there. It's kind of reflecting back your reflection, right? So the thing is, they can see you, friends, family. Um, they can see you and they have a pretty good opinion of who you are. So by that, I mean your parents have watched you grow your entire life, right? And they got a pretty good opinion of who you are as a person. The thing, the problem is that one though, you're not exactly 100% the same person when you're around your parents than when you're around other people, right? Which is why you also have your friends included in there. Your friends see the other side of you when you're not around your parents, okay? So even if they both don't see the exact same perspective, between the two of them, it's a pretty good way to sort of balance um, the sort of balance the view on yourself, okay? Because the thing is, you cannot 100% see yourself, right? Think about it like if you were driving a car, all right? Let's say you're driving a car, but let's say your car has no rear view mirrors it has no side mirrors, right? And you're simply allowed to just look straight as you're driving the car. You're not allowed to turn around behind. You're not allowed to look to the side. You can clearly see uh, while driving the car, you can clearly see ahead of you, but you can't really see to your sides and you can't really see behind you, which is why you need other friends um, and family to sort of calibrate off of for this metaphor right so it's a good idea to sort of listen to like friends and family to sort of get their opinion on you and hopefully you can get an honest opinion because sometimes people don't want to hurt your feelings um because you may not be aware of the things you're doing right so I'm trying to think of an example. All right, here's, here's a good example. Hopefully this isn't offensive. Um, you might have somebody who will, they spend their whole like life to sort of jumping from one thing to the other, right? Um, not really taking time to consider the course of her actions. They make really bad decisions. And then they might come home crying to their mother one day, like, I don't understand. Why is my life horrible? And why is, why am I, uh, why my baby father is being mean to me and this, that, whatever, and such and such and such and such, right? And people will often play the victim, you know? Well, it, nobody will help me and um, you know everybody's mean to me and it just I need help and nobody's helping me and it's like well you, if you ask your friends and family people will tell you that well people have been trying to help you all along and you usually your response was fuck off you know, maybe not those literal words, but you wasn't trying to hear it, you know. Um, also, you got to consider other things that you may not consider, you know. Well, why is my baby daddy, like, you know, kind of treat me like a piece of shit? It's like, well, maybe because you cheated on him. Or maybe because you guys weren't a good couple to ever start. Or maybe because he's not a good a good mate and you made a bad decision when you know partnering with him you know like there there are many other factors but nobody ever really looks at those things like nobody wants to go in depth and look at like 
maybe I made a bad decision or maybe I did something wrong. Everybody's just like, what's well, everybody else's fault? That's like the automatic default. It's everybody else's fault. So therefore, I'm 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 perfectly clean and everybody else is just out to screw me over and nobody cares about me, you know. I'm getting off topic really. Um but for those reasons, it's good to try to calibrate yourself by talking to friends and family to get a better grasp on understanding of who you are um as a person, you know. Uh, so it's good to have like a good inner circle that you can talk to about that kind of thing. The only thing about it is it does make people feel vulnerable. And if you, if you do have the wrong people, there are people who will try to take advantage of that. Um, it's just sad to say, but unfortunately people are people. People can be great and amazing and people can be pieces of shit. That this is just human. I don't. I don't really have a an answer for that. This is how it works. But um, yeah. So you have to be careful. It's good to it's good to calibrate and check in every so often um, to make sure that the version of yourself that you are seeing is the same version that the outside world is seeing. You know, and don't just go to yes man. Don't get, don't just go to yes man. Cause it's like, if you're just gonna go to a yes man, then there's really no point in doing the whole exercise all together, just to be honest. Cause you, you're just wasting your time, right? Um, I'm trying to think of something else I wanted to say. Also, you will be surprised by how much you are doing and not really realizing it, right? Like, you, some people are controlling. Um, they will try to use whatever thing they have to their advantage to sort of control the situation. Um, which probably comes from other deeper issues that they have. Um, that would probably call, fall back to hidden truths, like I was saying in my last video. Um, so some people are like that. You could be one of those people and not realize it. Um, some people are reckless, um, make really bad decisions in the moment and don't really think about it. And then later, regret the decision, but still, continuously repeatedly for years make the bad worst decisions and then we'll wake up one day and realize i have totally screwed up my life and i don't know what to do about this i'm screwed and then go to blame is is everybody else's fault except for me right so some people have that issue uh some people what else? Um, some people have bad influences. You know, you choose bad friends, unfortunately. You, you probably know, like, oh, this person isn't good for me. But they're fun. But they're fun. Or they're the cool person or something like that. You know, but you know they're not good for you. But you still make that choice. I'm going to hang around with this person because they're the cool person or the fun person. And again, I am not judging anybody on this. This is something that probably everybody does to some degree. Um, so I'm not excusing myself from this category. Uh, I'm just simply saying that something you might want to think about, might want to consider, you know, might want to do a check in with friends and family. I don't know. Um, all right. Uh, the other thing is you also have to realize that even if you check in with friends and family, ultimately, it's your decision on how you choose to interpret. Like you get you get the final say, right? And so you might be getting 
this is where your judgment comes into play. Because you could be getting conflicting um, reports, right? You could you can get reports to saying that people see you as almost the exact opposite of how you see yourself. And that could be hard to hear. Um, and you know what? You could be like, you know what? I'm going to dismiss this all together. Clearly, you guys don't know what you're talking about. That could be accurate or that could be inaccurate. It's hard to really say, to be honest. You really just have to use your best judgment on that. And it's also good not to rush the judgment on that. Just like think it over for a while, roll it around in the back of your mind or something. There could be something there you can pull from it. It might 100% be garbage. It's really hard to say. Um, but I have to say, and I have to emphasize that in the end, your judgment is the final judgment. And your judgment is the only one that it really matters. Um, you know, at this point, you're using people as a resource. Um for their judgment but ultimately is your decision you know um because people will absolve themselves of any kind of any kind of uh power in that decision you know They're like oh well such and such said i'm a great person and see clearly i'm awesome and i'm going to keep going about my my life doing what i've been doing and you may not, you may know, a part of you may know that's not true, but it's easier, you know, it's easier to do that than to face that internal judgment, which is difficult for most people, you know. Um, so, I mean, I get it, but ultimately, it's only hurting you, you know. This is why, this is why it's so important to understand is it's your decision, because ultimately, you made that decision and ultimately you pay those repercussions. Um, so it's just something to think about, you know. Um, also, you also got to take into the fact of this, right? Everybody's, everybody's different, right? Even though you got, let's say you got, you believe in the different theories of personality, right? And there are so many different kinds of the personality right you still have other things make up a person besides that so you still have to factor in culture you have to factor in experience you have to factor in age um it's just so many different variables okay so i say that to say that you have to realize that a person is really interpreting you through their own filter right so their own filter which is basically their mind but you have to recognize that that person doesn't necessarily think how you think right and i'll give you an example or somewhat of an example i i work with a guy nice guy like I like the guy. We we talk pretty much every day. But man, does he interpret things through such such a racial lens. Like everything is race with him. You know, and that's that's just his lens. That's that's how he sees the world. The world is either black or white to him. You know. Good guy, solid guy, takes care of his family, good father, but that's how he sees the world. So you have to recognize that other people just working with different filters than you are. So you you just I'm just saying that you have to take that into account. Whether it be negative or positive, you you have to take that into account. You know, and make sure that you're getting a good understanding of the person that you're going to um, if you're going to double check your identity off of them. Alright, so I'm saying that to say that you have to understand also that that person's filter I 
how you approach life and how they approach life, how you view things, how they view things, just may not be on par with each other. You know, you might be coming from different ends of the spectrum. Like that guy was talking about, we talk all the time, great guy, but a lot of times when we talk, he thinks that I'm crazy for some of the views that I have. Like, not literally crazy, of course, but, like, I don't know how you could think like that, man. And it's like, I get it. You know, I don't know how he thinks, how he thinks. It's just, you know, our filters are so different. We're almost coming from two different ends of the field. Um, so, I'm just saying that to say a person interprets life through their filters and that's how they make their decisions, their decision-making process. And you have to keep that in mind when considering what somebody's telling you as far as advice and stuff, because their advice might be good for them because it's coming through their, fi their filter. It may not necessarily be good for you because you might not be close to their worldview, how they see things through their filter, you know. Um, and I will also say, going back to my little diagram I drew. Uh, so, let me see. So that's you. These four. That's friends and family, right? So you would notice on the edge here, 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 and here. Those look more curved, right? These, that's you. These are flat like mirrors, right? These are more curved. You see what I mean? So the reason they're like that is because the further you get from you, the less, the less, the less value I will put on those opinions. All right, because friends and family, for the most part, got your best interest at heart. Now take that with a grain of salt, because people are people. But for the most part, like I want all my friends and family to succeed at whatever they achieve. But I also know I cannot say that in return. Um, if you knew my family, you. Anyway, so. Yeah, I also can't say that in return. But these on the outer edge, right? The further you get away from you, the less I think those opinions, those opinions hold any kind of value. And the more warped, that's why these are curved. The more warped I think those opinions are because they're forming their opinions off you based being further away from you, right? So what I'm saying is they don't know you as well. They can see your actions, but they don't know you as well. So they don't have any kind of, uh, they don't have the best understanding of your motives and what you're trying to do. You know, they just see that like, oh, I saw that guy did. That guy's a complete fucking asshole. You see what he did with that other person? And, oh man, yeah, he just, they, he, he you know, they, it just didn't work out, you know. He he treated that person badly, or this, that, whatever. And it's like you don't really know the full full story. You're making you're making a judgment based off a tiny viewpoint, you know. So that's why I say those. The further away from you you go, the further away from that inner circle, the m less power I feel like those opinions should hold. Those should definitely be tested and heavily considered before taking advice from you know those but uh i'm simply saying that you just it's a good idea to check um to look in your rear view or in your side view as far as your identity goes it's good to ping and triangulate off people just to make sure you know and then also it's good it's good to do that just to uh be sure maybe you're making the right decisions or whatever you know whatever the case may be 
So that is my thoughts on identity and perhaps it's not Maybe that's not my sole thoughts on identity. That's a thought on like more so calibrating your identity, right? Because I mean, you're not really defining yourself by the opinion of others. You're just sort of double checking, right? So I don't know, identity. I think my identity I mean, I'm just going off the top, right? My identity would be... <laughs> My identity would be I am a... Hmm. I am a person. I don't even want to say person, really. I want to say being. But let's say person. All right. I am a person who makes decisions based on logic. I am not my thoughts. Although my thoughts are very much an expression of my identity. Now that might sound conflicting, right? How can you not be your thoughts and yet your thoughts are a reflection of your identity? The reason I'm saying that is I have thought things in the past, right? It's, you know what? I give you a friend of mine, my oldest friend, right? A friend told me about 20 years ago. He told me something. He said, uh, he said, if you can't look back at yourself when you're like 21, 22, and say, hey, every, for every 10 years or so, right? If you can't look back and say, man, I was a fucking idiot. He said, if you can't do that, you're in trouble. And I, I agree with that. Um, I've had much time to consider that, and I 100% agree with that. And the reason I agree with that is you should be growing. Um, you should be evolving. I mean, that's my personal opinion. You don't have to. But that's just my philosophy, right? Uh, you should be growing and trying to strive to evolve as a person. Um you can do that. And to be honest, you're going to do it regardless. Uh, it just might be tiny incremental changes or it could be big leaps and bounds. But either way, you're going to be changed. You're not going to be the same person um, you were five years ago. You know, now I'm trying to remember who has a saying. Uh, I'm trying to think it's a it's a, a speaker. Uh, his name is escaping me right now. And I really want to shout, shout him out. Um, he's no longer alive, but I was a big fan of his work. But he said, you're the same person. You're the same person. Um, you're the same person you were 10 years ago with the exception of the books you read, the people you meet. Ah, oh, I'm forgetting the last part. But anyway, you get the general gist, right? So you want to meet people within five to 10 years. I can't say you want to read books because a lot of people do not really read. Um, so I can't say that. But I will say there's television, there's internet, you know, all these things have a effect on you. So, you know, the, there are influences, whether you're aware of it or not, there, there's always influences. Um, so there's that. Where was I going with this? Um, I've gotten off topic. Sorry, I, I tend to do some tangents here and there. 
Um, fuck. Oh, shot my identity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I am not my thoughts. That's what it was. So, that's the reason I say I'm not my thoughts, right? Like, um, there are views that I've had, that I've held in the past, right? That are no longer my views. Um, I've changed. I've reconsidered those views. Let me tell you. <laughs> When you have to reconsider views and sort of like change your world view on things, that can be difficult. That can be very difficult. Um, but I feel like it's a necessity. Um, but it it's a fight. It, it it really is a fight. And then it's not an overnight thing. You can't just be like, oh, okay, now I believe this. Like that really does take time to sort of get in through you know depending on how deep the belief is uh you could be looking at something from weeks months years you know depending on how deep it is but yeah there are beliefs that i no longer believe that i've been exposed to new information i've reconsidered old information um i've talked to people looked at different sources so there are things that made me reconsider that and um i now hold various new beliefs on different things um so yeah i that's why i wouldn't define myself as my beliefs because that's subject to change um which is side note tangent why i don't really understand today they will go and try to find something you put on the internet like 30 years ago and try to hold you accountable for that. Like, oh, we, he should be destroyed because back in 1982, he said this one thing when he was like seven, you know, he said this thing and, and clearly he's a monster. And you'd be like, dude, you, you don't think people have changed and grown since then? Like, that's crazy. One, that's crazy. Two, you clearly don't have the best interest at heart because if you really wanted to uh you know if you really wanted to change that person you would have a conversation and not just try to condemn them um but that's neither here nor there uh so that's why i say like i wouldn't define myself as my thoughts uh if you catch me currently i can tell you that's you know i might feel about a different way but i wouldn't define myself as that but those are ways that we express ourselves so that other people can know our our identity right so if i say hey um like if you caught me 20 years ago if you you know look look in the background right you see all those comic books those trade graphic novels i haven't read comic books in so long like recently I, I did pick them back up recently but it's been a long time since i've really read comic books like i used to go every day i mean not every day every week to go get the new comic books right i've been doing that since i was so young like elementary school right so i said that to say that things have changed you know um but those things are a way of expressing myself so that other people can know who I am. Oh, I'm a Batman fan. Oh, I'm an X-Man fan. Uh, I like martial arts. Um, I love a good heist movie. These are expressions of me. So you can know me. You can know my identity. But they are not my identity. That is what some people get confused. They are not my identity. Of course, that's just my opinion. To each his own. Um, and then, of course, if you know me, I don't like to define myself by many things because as i said in my last video those things i feel like those labels are like chains and they confine you i don't want to be confined like that um like i said i may evolve i may change my view on things and if i confine myself right if i've wrapped this thing around me and built my identity around it and then later discover i no longer hold these views or i no longer find this to be truth then it is hell to try to unwrap all those chains that I've wrapped around myself. 
you know um even if you do it the world may not accept you like that like may not accept you they they will kind of attack you um because now you're messing with their worldview they're like hey i i you were in this box that's how i defined you you cannot get out the box if you said you were a Republican, then you were a Republican. If you said you were a liberal, then you were a liberal. If you said you were a, a Democrat, then you were a Democrat. You can't get off the box. And that's how a lot of people like to look at it. That's why I don't really care for labels and whatnot. Um, but, like I said, those, those things are not a person's identity. They're just how a person is trying to share their identity to let you know that Hey, we're comrades. We like the same things. We have common bonds. Or to be like, oh, well, no, I stand on this side of the fence and I oppose your side of the fence. You know, so people use it for a different kind of expression, but those things are not your identity. You are not your political views. You are not your favorite television show. You are not what sex you like to have sex with, uh, what gender you like to have sex with. Um, you are not those things. Those things are expressions of you, but you are not those things. You are you. You are the, the individual organism that makes choices based off whatever it is you make choices based off. For me, it's, it's logic. Um, I mean, for everybody, it's emotion and thinking, um, but usually people have one that's more dominant than the other. Uh, for me, the thinking is more dominant than the emotion, but I do have emotions. Uh, my wife has called me a robot several times, but I do have emotions. Uh, you know, I'm not a super emotional person. That's true. But I have emotions. I care about things. I love things. There are things I don't like. Hate. I can't really think of anything I hate. But that might be because I just won't allow myself to fester in that. But when I was younger, if you caught me during my teenage years, I probably could have told you somebody I hated. I'm sure. Um, now, the hate to hate somebody just seems like what's that saying letting somebody live in your head for rent free yeah I'm not going to give somebody else that, that power like that um, because it does more damage on me and that other person is not even really aware of it you know so hey that's not something I'm really it's like a heavy anchor you gotta carry around I'm not going to do that um, but yes thoughts I don't know. The, I just, I'm one person, one organism, one being, one human, however you want to define it. And I make my, my judgments based off logic, the best logic I can do at the time. And, um, that's it pretty much, you know. So anyway, this is, uh, I wanted to try to keep these videos short, but I'm not good at that. This is like a 40 minute video already. Um, so again, uh, thanks to anybody who's watching this. Hi mom, it's my only audience. Uh, see you guys later, <laughs> I would take it easy.